The order of modifying a car is the following. Lower it, put an exhaust on it, put spacer on it. Well, in my case, I already lowered it. I'm sitting on Ibex Springs. I did a video on it. I already have a mid pipe and today we're going to be putting spacers on it. Now, putting spacers on an F90 M5 is extremely tricky. There are a lot of conflicting reports out there of what you can or cannot do. So today I'm going to show you the middle ground, the, the perfect, in my opinion, spacer setup for your F90 uh, M5. I'm going to keep the camera where it stands without any cuts. And please tell me if you own a BMW, you own one of these adapters. It's a must if you want to jack up your BMW in your driveway. A couple of things to notice in this wheel well. First of all, how amazing this mud flap works. I mean, look at it. It, it just protects you from all this debris and leaves ended up on the side of your car. Two, how awesome this caliper is. And three, how rusty the hub is. And to clean the hub, we're also going to be using this. It makes your life so much easier. I'm also going to link it down in the description. You basically put it on the end of your favorite drill and clean the hub. Now that you've cleaned the hub, you want to get some anti-seize and you want to put just a tiny bit on the actual hub. You don't want to go too crazy, just a tiny bit on the lip. Then you slide your favorite spacer, make sure it aligns with the wheel bolts. Keep in mind that if you get spacers, especially anything over five mil, you have to get extended uh, lugs or bolts, lugs, bolts. I never know what these things are called. But anyways, you have to get them extended because you're pushing the wheel out. You want as much uh, of this to be grabbing your wheel as possible. So yeah, get these. <laughs> Let's hand tighten these and then tighten them a little bit with the impact. And then once we lower it and the car settles, we're going to torque it to spec. All right, the moment of truth. You know what this car looked like before. Let's see what it looks like after. Oh! So much better. <laughs> wow! so much better. Now, the car appears a little higher now because when you jack up the car and you drop it, the suspension doesn't settle until you drive it forward and backwards. But I don't want to drive it forward and backwards because I wanted to show you sort of before and after. So here's before and here's after. Before and after. Before and after. Before and after. Wow! So cool! You see this? This looks like this. That's no spacers. This looks like that with spacers. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Let's take a quick commercial break because I have to rave about this product. You see this? Ceramic trim coat. If your car has plastic pieces, you have to use this product because check this out. I applied this exactly two weeks ago and this is what it looks like after two weeks of standing in the sun, standing in the rain, not getting washed or anything. This is what it looks like, and this is what the original plastic looks like. This product is supposed to last for months. You can uh, take it to car washes, and it's supposed to be uh, black, as, uh, as you can see here. So absolutely, if your car has black trim, get it. You will not regret it. Again, uh, I usually don't do this, but I was blown away by this product. I'm also going to link it down in the description for you. So I'm at a dilemma because I don't know if I should go with five or three mil uh, in the back. I might try three. One thing you notice that the rear tire, for some reason, doesn't have a lot of life left. Hmm, I wonder why. You know what? I opened up the five, might as well use five. Now with the nature of sort of this lip being so thin, I don't think I'm going to put uh, NTCs. I don't want anything splashing around. So we're just going to put the spacer on. Then we're going to put the wheel on. With the five mil, you can still reuse the same lugs. <laughs> you know what? Here's an honest truth. I do not like how little lip you have with the five mil. I'm going to actually put a three mil just to be safe. And the three mil, I mean, it's just going to be barely noticeable, but 
it'll still give us some, a bit of an effect. Ah! Three, two, one. Ah! I don't know if you can tell the difference, but this is before and this is after. This is before and this is after. Before, after. Whew. Let's look at this from this side. See, this is what it looks like from this side. And this is what it looks like from that side. If I'm not gonna lie, and I shouldn't lie to you, it is barely noticeable, but it is noticeable. So three mil in the back, absolutely perfect. I would not go any higher. And then look at the front. Wow, the front made a huge difference, absolutely huge. I love the way the front looks. It just looks so much meatier. And I know some of you are complaining, look at this. See, this is without the spacer. It looks kind of weak. This is what it looks like with the stirrup spacer. How cool is that? Now, I know a lot of you will say, hey, your car is not low enough. For me, it is absolutely perfect because this car, I mean, look how filthy it is. Don't even get me started on the last time I washed it. I actually haven't washed it since I bought it. Um, but to me, this is a perfect stance for a daily driven car. And I love it, absolutely love it. But now let's crank up the tunes and do this side. Let's pick up the camera and let's admire this beauty right away. First of all, what is that? See, I got PPF. Thanks for that. Right away, look how muscular this looks. Oh my gosh, I love it. Absolutely love it. This is the perfect, absolutely the perfect spacers for the platform. Whether your car is lowered or not, even on the stock height, I think this would be absolutely perfect. How much more of a poke do you need? Anything more than that is just gonna look kind of uh, cheesy, if you ask me. This is absolutely perfect. 13 in the front, three in the back. And the spaces that I use, I'm going to link them in the description for you in case you want the same exact setup. Wow, I am so happy with this. I'm not even kidding. This is absolutely perfect. Wow. And the wheels actually look a little bigger. Now, with this setup, you no longer have the front wheels that are getting lost in the shade of the front fender. Now they kind of uh, stand on their own and the car looks this much better. I can't believe a little over $100 gets you this improved stance. It is so cool. I mean, I, I can't... I can't, I, I can't tell you how happy I am. I absolutely cannot tell you how happy I am. Now, I absolutely, absolutely suggest when you put spacers, even without spacers, but especially when you get spacers, you get TLG mud flaps. And if you want them, email me, I'll, I'll tell you how to, uh, uh, how to get them. But TLG mud flaps will help you protect the side of the car, especially when the car is uh, lowered and, uh, and has spacers. I mean, look at it. It looks so cool. I, I, I can't tell you how happy I am. This is the money shot. It just looks amazing. So I'm gonna walk into the shot to conclude this video. Thank you very much for watching. Again, every tool and product that I use today, I'm going to link down in the description. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I would like to answer every single one of them uh, as much as I can. But this to me is a no brainer. You own an F90, this is the spacer setup you need. You don't need anything else, trust me. Uh, if you watch my prior videos, you know with all the cars, I've gone through so many different spaces, I've tested so many. With this one, I wanted to get it right for the first time, and I'm pretty sure I did. I'm super, super happy with this. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.